In this video, I'm going to be looking at the impact of EU law and the Human Rights Act on how judges interpret statutes. Starting off with the impact of EU law. Most European countries prefer the purposive approach. This has affected English judges in a few ways. They have accepted the purposive approach as the correct one when dealing with EU law. Using the purposive approach for EU law has made judges more familiar with it and so the approach has been used often with English law as well. Using the purposive approach allowed the English judiciary to confirm the supremacy of EU law over UK law. The case of Factor Tame is a key example of this, where the House of Lords disapplied the Merchant Shipping Act. After the UK left the EU, EU law was no longer supreme to UK law. And now looking at the impact of the Human Rights Act. So this requires the court to take rights into account when interpreting statutes. Looking at the case Sheldrake v DPP. Road Traffic Act says that if a person is driving and their breath exceeds the prescribed alcohol limit, they're guilty. It's a defence for the person charged to prove that there was no likelihood of driving while over the limit. It didn't go against the presumption of innocence as the burden is on the prosecution. Here's what a question might look like on this topic. Hopefully this video was helpful. Have a nice day.